Behold the power. Uh. Oh. Shit. Is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. What the hell? You. 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 You look like a gargoyle. I. I thought vampires had grace, finesse. I thought you were sophisticated. I thought you had style. You don't even have trousers. Is it me, Inigo? Do I just attract nauseating people? I mean, I found the Thieves' Guild and they were in a sewer. I found the Dark Brotherhood and they were living in a disgusting dungeon. And now I found a clan of elder vampires who apparently have taken up residence in the castle that Hygiene forgot. Why is it everybody I meet in Skyrim that's remotely interesting makes me want to scrub myself clean after I've met them? And you know, I mean, Serana seemed, well, pleasant. Sophisticated, clean. Yes, she did. Plus she had an Elder Scroll. I mean, I've got to admit, that, that, that did make a bit of an impression. But you know, how often do you meet people with Elder Scrolls? Not very often. I suppose it's the oldest story in the world, really, isn't it? Boy meets girl, girl takes boy home to meet parents. Parents turn out to be horrific monsters. And now, of course, we have the most important question. How the hell do we get that Elder Scroll? I mean, sneaking in to a vampire-infested castle does not seem like the wisest of all moves. Which probably means at some point in the future, that's precisely what we're going to do. I think for now, we will, um... We will have to consider this. Maybe we should check up and see if there are any tomes or, uh... I don't know, books that could tell us about this particular clan. He did look a little more dangerous than the average vampire, so we probably need to tread carefully. I'm not actually sure whether we need to rush. Vampires tend to be somewhat, well, you know, they are ageless, I suppose, so they're not in a rush. What could he possibly want with an Elder Scroll? I mean, they didn't really look like the sort of people who were going to set up their own museum, did they? Although, now that I've said that out loud, that could be a good way to attract you know, a steady food supply. But no, not the right sort of people. Anyway, you know what? While we're thinking about it, why don't we just head back? Whoa, try not to trample me, please. I am sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just really, really distracted. Where the hell are we? There's a fort of some sort here. And, okay, stop pushing. Yeah, let's get back to the museum. I do have a few thing... Is that... Elven... Oh, good. good. What? What the hell? I am sorry, Fox. My friend does not like the looks of you. Uh, no, I, I was going to say, not totally sure I like the look of that. That could be Thalmor. But you know what? Fine. Shot a... Fox. Okay, they don't seem to be particularly... Well, I suppose I shouldn't assume everyone in Elven Armour is a Thalmor soldier. Is that Elven? It is Elven Armour. You know what? Let's just be on our way after I've, uh, you know, picked up the Nurn route. 
But it's not all doom and gloom. Yes, we lost an Elder Scroll, but you could argue it was an Elder Scroll we didn't even know existed. That's more Thalmor. They didn't get mad. But we have got the last item of the Crusader gear, plus we got the Jade item for Orion. And, of course, we now have all of the recruits for our Guild of Explorers, so we can start, well, exploring, I guess. You see, Inigo, I gotta say, this is the sort of place I would have imagined vampires wanting to live. It's impressive, it's castle-like, but it's stylish. It's the sort of place you could imagine hosting fancy balls, events, incredible parties, great nightlife. It's slightly sinister and yet immensely cool all at the same time. It even has a sort of dangerous looking dragon skull on it. It's got style, is what I'm saying. It's got style, it's got a certain sophistication. This, okay, hello. Hi, yes, Aurelia. Um, yeah, somebody actually um mentioned that perhaps it's these guys that do all the cataloging and transportation of items. Well, I do the cataloging. I, I of course, write the entries in this book here, but they then take them off and place them on the displays. We don't have invisible elves, we basically have ghosts that do everything for us. Oh, you've got some stuff, let's you see what you've got. You ask me something? I'm telling you, I have a problem. Last night, when we were stacking all the items in the museum, I noticed we're actually missing more steel items than we're missing ebony items. Is the house cult? using my alchemy bench. You know what, it doesn't matter. I never use it anyway. We've actually got a more complete ebony collection than steel, which is nuts, but that's not what's bothering me, right? I was looking at it thinking, how have we not found steel armor? Mind you, I was also thinking, how have we not found an imperial helmet or a scaled helmet? But how have we not found steel armor? And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to nip down to the blacksmith, get him to make some, and we'll just put that up. And then this little voice at the back of my head said, but that would be cheating. A voice in my head said, but that would be cheating. Like I care. And yet I do. I, 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 I cannot explain it any better than, than that. I... You know what it is? I'm in a competition with my own bloody museum. That museum, I feel like it's almost alive, like it's mocking me. Like if I go off and I buy the steel armor, the museum will look at me like, oh, okay, I suppose it was a bit difficult to find that item. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay, you, 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 you can put that here, it's, it's okay. No one will know. And the museum would be right. Of course no one would know. I'd make up some incredible tale about how I dragged it off the corpse of a Draugr. I could scratch it a few times, add a bit of dirt, make it look a little smelly. But I'd know. And the museum would know. And it would mock me. I'm nuts, aren't I? I am, I am. I'm, I'm paranoid about being mocked by my own museum. I'm tempted to just go off and get the steel armor, put it there, as if to say, ha 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 ha. But I'm not going to. <sighs> because I want to win. Yeah, I'm nuts. Yeah, I know. This museum has been doing this to me since the start, though. It really has. But I want to win. The way, my friend. I want I, with you. I want to get the complete steel collection and place it with a sense of I don't know. Well, pride, I guess. Like the the, the museum was mocking and challenging me. 
And I managed to defeat it. I can place the last item and then I can look at the museum and I can say, Ha! How do you like that? I like hmm? little oh, I see what you did there. That was very clever. <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I do like the museum. But the fact that I've started considering it a sentient being is... Oh, okay, filling me with worry. I'm going to let it fill me with worry whilst inside. Uh, right, we need to find Orion and tell him that we found the Jade Dragon and that we've also completed the roster for the Explorer's Guild. Okay, Orion! Good day. I found the artifact. Ah, splendid. Nice find, my friend. Here's a little something for your efforts. I'll go ahead and display it. Uh, oh. No, I've already... I I already placed it last night. You were asleep and I was... I hope you don't mind. Um, yeah. I was just doing everything. Out of curiosity... Greetings. What's... I finished the Explorer's Guild. What's next? Very simple. You keep doing what you're doing and stop in here from time to time if you find anything interesting. Have a look around and find a spot to display it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In addition to displaying the spoils of your adventures, I will commission and build exhibits based on yeah, your yeah. exploits. Okay, but... Anything of relevant consequence can be inspiring. You've told me all this again. Before. Again? Oh my god. I'm arguing Farewell. with the museum and I'm losing track of my tenses. Oh, I also need to remember that I have to place Malrus's codex manually. For some reason, that won't place itself. And that, I believe, is placed in here. Oh, Guildmaster, Latoria has a gift for you. Latoria is so happy to be hearing stories from the other explorers about the places they have been and the places we may go that Latoria wished to give you something special. So Latoria crafts for you an official Explorer Society ring. Oh. Jewelry crafting okay. is something other that Latoria is also good at. She has made the ring for all members, but this one she makes special for you. It is magic. If you would like one of the others at any time, you just tell Latoria and she will give you one. Okay, so they're, they're like it's like a it's like a symbol of the guild instead of a uniform. I still think uniforms are. Go uh, I'd like another explorer's ring, because Indigo needs one. You've given one to all the members, but Indigo here is a, a member as well. Yes, he is. Oh, of course, Guildmaster. I always have a few extra on hand Ooh. in case of new Ge members. Here you are. Okay. Uh, anything interesting in the works? I have a job. I'll be back. I'll just. Happy hunting. Just give me a second. We got a quartermaster now. And I think the... Where was it? It was... Open the trophy case. It was... There! Okay, so we've now put the codex where it belongs. Um, although... I don't think we... I think we need to use... You know what? We can use it in a minute. We can use it in a minute. Um, I think we have to take it with us if we want to keep using it. But I hate the idea of carting it around with me. Yes, I do. Um, ring! Ring, ring! He says. Um, so what did she give me? She gave... Wanderlust! Ring of the Explorer provides a boost to movement speed, stamina, plus 10 armor rating. That's not too terrible. Okay, it would be instead of the ring of... Could I do it instead of that one? Instead of the... No. Okay, so it, it wants to be on the same finger as the Ring of Khajiiti. Which means... Uh, oh, no. I mean, how big a speed boost is it? It's... <laughs> like I've got any idea. Um, I would be reluctant to lose the muffle or the sneaking. I'm a very good sneak. I just don't know... Oh, I think I actually can feel the difference. I just don't actually know whether or not it helps, even though I'm a master sneak. Yeah, the muffle also helps, although not as much as I th thought. 
I do kind of like the, the boost in speed, though. Yes, I do. Right, what was the Explorer's Guild Ring? Which looks the same. Oh, yeah. I still think uniforms. I'm still thinking uniforms, but hey, 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 you hey. You want to talk? Hey, hey. Anything new? We've got an official ring, mate. We've got an official ring. Uh, is he going to put it? Yes! Okay, then. Don't say it like that. That's cool. We've got official rings. Hello? Hello? Quartermaster. Hello. What have you got? Follow me, I need you. So, what do you have for... Do you have anything? I've got a little of everything you'll need for your next expedition. Uh, I will be the judge of that. Actually, you... It's not terrible stuff, although... And you'll actually buy stuff from me that... I have no idea where you got those, but I will take them. We don't need fragments. What we need are the keystones. The keystones are what we need. Yes, we do. If you ever get any keystones, I'd Have a good one. appreciate it. Okay. Hey, do I have my... No, I don't. Okay, so we've got Latoria and... Yes. Something you need. I have got a job for you. What are you doing between digs? How are things going? It's much better here at the guild, to be sure. I'm preparing to join in on the next excavation. And it's much more interesting to be sure. All right. I do want to get... I do want to get outfits for you guys. I really do. I'll sort that out when I've got time. Something more uh, fitting for your new status. Uh, what are you doing in between digs? Well, I mostly help Ariana move her inventory around. And help Professor Marassi or Arion with whatever they need in prepping for a dig. Okay. But now that you mention it, I do have some extra time on my hands, and I have a little knack you might be able to help with. If you can bring me five samples of any one type of ore, I can prospect that all for you. I can usually find another trace ore type, or a gem, that most people would overlook and lose in a smelting process. Oh. If I do find one, it will usually derive from one of the samples, so you get four of them back, and a new element, which is usually of a better variety of ore. Or a precious gem. Ooh. Just let me know. So basically just keep bringing all my ore to you. I have some ore for you to prospect. Do I? I don't think oh, I've sure. got anything what kind? on me. And all I'm... right. I... Did, did, did I have something yes. on me? Something you need. Uh... Did, 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 did I have some ore on me? I'm not sure I did. Maybe See I... you around. Right, okay, but I have a job for you, I think. Something you need. I have no idea. I'd like you to go out and excavate. Go find stuff. Go and find stuff for me. All right. Yes! Brilliant! So we can send these guys out to get stuff. Maybe keystones? And then we can make... I've actually got a few keystones right now. Um, I can... I've got one. I could make the Morrowind Dwemer Goblet. Right. That will be a new item for the Lost Empire's room. Yes, it will. See, this is... And when, when they go out and get stuff, I'm assuming they bring it back here. Didn't we have a lot more people than, than this? We do have an upstairs. Uh, that's the Professor, isn't it? So we've got the Digger, the Professor. We've... Where's the guy with... Staying out of trouble. The funny eyeglasses? No, I, I, I've not missed him. If he's if he's in any, any of these beds, he's also invisible. Okay, he must be Staying out of trouble. somewhere else. All right, Professor Mur... I have a job for you. How does the dig... How goes the dig planning? It progresses. Going to take some time to get all the details worked out. But we're coming along well. I'll let you know when we are ready. So we can actually go on proper digs. Okay. Do I have a job for him? Mm-hmm. I'd like to go out. No, I'd like you to keep planning a dig. I think I'd like you to keep planning the dig. I don't want you to... Happy digging. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't want you to uh, stop that. 
Good, thank you. How is the day treating you? Ah, uh, so anything interesting in the works? Anything interesting planned? Okay, anything interesting in the works? Why, oh, yes, Guildmaster. In fact, Latoria does have something interesting to share. I was with Professor Marassi the other day while he investigated a Nordic burial ruin, and I discovered this lost incantation. Oh. Using it on a ruined, unreadable book reverses their age, so they can once again be legible. Oh. It only works briefly, so Latoria can only transcribe a page or two before the book turns to ash. But if you bring enough ruined books, I could piece together a full text from many ruined copies. Oh. How many? Well, how, how many? Latoria thinks about 20 at a time should suffice. Really? But bring her all you can find, and Latoria will give you a copy of whatever she finds. And uh, do you think these are going to be... Okay, what exactly could you uncover from this? Oh, some rare books, spell tomes, Sweet even a possible are treasure map. Oh. Nice to know. Be exciting to find out, no? Yes! What do you think? Sure, unfortunately they're bloody heavy. But of course I will. <laughs> Excellent. Latoria eagerly awaits your return. Yeah, I wouldn't eagerly await it, seeing as it, carrying that many books will probably take me a while to get down the bloody street in How solitude. Is the you? Anything interesting planned? Well, I've read many stories about Windcaller Pass, which runs underneath the throat of the world. I should like to see it one day. Windcaller Pass, that rings a bell. Farewell. Windcaller Pass, that. That does ring a bell for some odd reason. Wasn't it? No, that's Engelman's room. When, uh, I don't... That's the place we went to find some of the artifacts that have been stolen, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah, okay. She says there's something interesting there. Wonderful day, is it not? Anything interesting planned, not anything interesting you've heard. Oh yes, lot of possibilities. Just have to narrow down where we want to go next. Okay, so so basically what you're saying Happy is you've time. not done that yet. All right, well I've sent one of them out to dig and one of them's preparing mm, something and she's looking into something I interesting. More. And you've eaten four bloody sweet rolls this morning alone. Four. You're going to have to wait. I need to find... I can't remember his name. Guy with the funny glasses. Let's just check round the back. Oh, dear. I want to take that out for a run. Still. Right. Okay. You know what? Now that I'm the Thane of um, Markarth, I sort of feel like I'd like to fly there in style sometime, you know basically find out where I'd uh, like to park it as well. Okay, let's try and find the guy with the glasses. I can't remember what he was called because the glasses pretty much... Okay. Somebody's knocking on the house. Are we following someone? Yeah, the, his... Uh, his um. Eyewear definitely huh. grab always thought it would be bigger than that. The attention. So is he around? Surely he got here. Please tell me he got here. I'll go around, shall I? In a go. Okay. Could be the library. Could be bloody anywhere, I guess. Oh no, there he is! Yes. What uh, is it? Keeping busy? Oh, yes. In between planning, I could spend all day in the Hall of Lost Empires. Really, quite a fascinating place. But are you planning anything? Could, of course, make room by moving all of those dusty old Nordic things out of the way. Oh, wait. Those are artifacts. Never mind. You leave the artifacts alone. You're worrying me. Oh, they're artifacts. Of course they're artifacts. Are you suggesting I would put things up that weren't artifacts? Hmm... Okay, I have a job for you then. You go out and get some stuff for us. Yes? What is it? 
Uh, I'd like to go out and excavate. Fantastic, then. Okay, so I've now sent two of them out to get stuff. Oh, we've got a Dwemer um, bowl. Lost Empires? I'm going to put it in there by hand if I can actually find the place. Yeah, the Morrowind Dwemer goblet. And actually, it looks like there are two. Amazing. Oh, no. Simply amazing. That's for device, pitcher, and bowl. So we've got one more item in the Hall of Lost Empires, which is good because this particular area is somewhat spartan. Hopefully, now that we have the Explorers Guild up and running, they will wander out and begin filling this place up, or at least help us find some new things. Snow Elf Urn. Finaster's Cup. I mean, this is the room that I'm hoping the explorers will probably end up focusing on. They're, they're going to be looking at archaeological digs for lost empires. That reminds me. We do now know what was in Arkham's. It's the forge. You know, I was I was planning on resuming the hunt for Thane ships, and I was actually giving serious thought to going to Winterhold. It's one of the areas I've got the least amount of influence. But I'm wondering whether actually I should head off and just check. You know what? We've already got a property at Falkreath. Right, we've already got a, a property at Falkreath, so maybe I should focus on that area first. We could also find Rion's drum. If we um, pleased enough people in Falkreath, we've already got a house. Well, we've already got a plot of land. Ooh, if I became a thane, would I get a house call? even though I don't have a house? And if so, well, you know, what's a house Carl without a house? Perhaps I could use and abuse him. So we could just stay in this particular area, although this really is a lot closer to Markarth. I am tempted to travel to Markarth in the ship just to see where it lands. Yes, I am. And then maybe make my way to Falkreath via Arkenthams. Oh, no, 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 no. Wherever we're going next, we're taking the carriage to Whiterun. I don't want to take the airship to Whiterun. I, I really... I'm really worried that um, without the, the backing of a Jarl, flying an airship over the city is a bad idea. But I want to go to Whiterun because... Oh. Well, because I do have some things to do, but I, I have an item to pick up. Before I leave, I do have one thing I want to try out. No, you are not going to need your sword. All you need are the potions I gave you. If I pass out or my eyes start bleeding or something like that, you just jam those healing potions into my mouth, okay? Quickly. You don't stab me. I'm not going to turn into some horrible demonic creature. I hope. Okay. Here goes. All right. That's working. Okay, that's not terrible at all. It's a little distracting to have my hand wiggly. If I if I decided to um Oh. Oh. Oh, this would work. This would work. Yes, it would. I mean, it's not as useful. I mean, it's not going to last very long, is it? No, it's not. However, if I run out of night eye potions, that could be useful in a pinch. Yes, it could. And as I pointed out, 
didn't turn into a horrible demonic creature. Told you to trust me. Right. Now we've got that as a bit of a backup plan. Are you coming? As a bit of a backup plan, let's head off to Whiterun and pick up the item. The 500 Mighty Companions or thereabouts of Isgrimor the Returned. You know, it's amazing how many rare or interesting books I find in these Khajiit caravans. Definitely worth checking them just for those alone. Zealotry. That and the fact that they often have things like ebony. They don't have malachite. That is what I really want. Refined malachite. I hope Jeez. that you will come to do business with us again. As long as you keep getting interesting books and uh, metal types, I definitely will. I am... Um, the 500 Mighty Companions or thereabouts of Isgrimor the Return. Returned. Okay, is it a big book? It looks like a big... What the... Okay. What did I... What the hell is that? Oh, they're names, whose names are too long for ink, but are in... Oh, my God. Right, that one's probably a little bit of a... Yeah. Zealotry. Zealotry of Shiogorath, the beliefs and ways of the zealots dedicated to Shiogorath. The best known of these is summoning flesh atronarchs to do their bidding. These powerful creatures are formidable foes. Okay, then. That was a little... Odd. Hail there. Seeing our kind do well in this Come cold environment warms my heart. I would like to do business with you. Here is a list of the things I require. Can you help me out? Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise, and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Mm-hmm. That seems oh, to be everything. To Thank you very much. Come and see May what you walk on warm sands. Same to you. Okay. Inquiring minds want to know, what did you buy? I probably shouldn't be nosy. Was it sweet rolls? I know you've run out, but that's your own fault. You did eat a bunch of them for breakfast. I mean, seriously, four within, I don't know, two minutes of each other. That is not healthy. No, it's not. Okay, let's go and see Yorland Greymane. I'm absolutely staggered that nobody has prayed to the Night Mother regarding him. I'm almost tempted to do a charitable job. Actually, we do have a job here. What time is it? You know, before we head on to Markarth, perhaps we should um, rest here for the evening. We do have... We actually have a few things to do here for the Thieves' Guild as well. Hello! My poor Fralia thinks Thor is <sighs> still alive, but I know better. I'm not doing it. Just just give it up, okay? I'd like to pick up my items. I suppose so. Excellent! Yes. And I also, whilst I'm here, seeing as we I've actually remembered it... as much to be proud of as them battle boards. But you oh, won't see us with our Good God. In the air. Just temper my armor. I, suppose I brought so. the yes. mask with me, and, you know, I, I really do, I just, I think it does have a certain style to it that could be useful when taking on, you know, the uh, the jobs for the Night Mother. So, this and uh, even the armor I'm wearing looks pretty intimidating. And you can make this slightly better? Yeah, it's not actually too bad. All right, do that. Thank you very much. Right. And let's take... Oh, look at that, Inigo. That is nice. And perhaps we will get a chance to uh, try it out. Yes, indeed. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to leave you in the inn uh, whilst I do a quick... Just a, a wander around before evening falls. I, I, I'd like to see the uh, the lay of the land. Perhaps pay my respects to the Jarl, as is fitting a visiting thane from, you know, many other holds.
It's gone midnight and I've noticed everybody going back home. Which probably means I can now... Oh, perhaps not. Perhaps I should wait a little while longer. I am tempted to go and take night vision potion whilst at the alchemist, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to need that long tonight. I don't want to sound cocky, but I have one target here, and then the other target for my pilfering is remarkably close to the noble. I wish to uh, see. I've not seen anybody for a little while. I was expecting a guard to have come past by now, but none seems to be here. I still have a key from my last visit. Nice. So, I can't even remember what on earth it was I was here to get. I was to get the golden urn. And of course, sweet rolls for my sugar addicted friend. And honestly, I do think I'm going to use night vision. Hopefully I won't need more than that amount of time. Stealing the sweet roll from a small child who also enjoys reading Kolb and the dragon. Interesting. Oh! And we are done unless there are any other sweet rolls to be found. You never know. Oh no, empty, empty. thing I need to take in the palace, apart from a life, is actually, oh hello, on somebody's personage. But I'm not going to... <sighs> yes I am. I'm going to see what she's got to see if there's anything actually worth taking, not really not worth risking the uh, law being informed somebody is sneaking around if this was the only job I might think about it I believe the person I'm looking for now is in the Jarl's quarters However, I cannot help but feel I will probably need some invisibility to get in there without being... Oh, I need... I need that. Okay, you know what? Don't steal it. Steal it once you've stolen the cup. Did I hear footsteps? Okay. Oh, there's a chest there. Interesting. Right, where was he? It was over here. Right. Yes! I can't remember if that's the last one. I think I might be missing another. Actually. Yes. I may. I want some of these maps. Okay. Whilst, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Whilst we're here, whilst we're here, we may as well check around for various irons. A really an iron sword in a display case. What is its sentimental value? Really? Let 
It's just... Oh, my God. I almost left coins behind. All right. Frissa, the wide Nordic tailoring. Fair enough. Haven't got it. Therefore, need it. And... Right. So... Now, getting through here without being spotted is going to be tough, so... Invisibility time. And So far, so good. Now let's just... Oh, okay, we got a guard. We got a guard. We got a guard. Oh, God. Well, I am invisible, but I don't know how long that's going to last. All right. Okay, open door. Go invisible. The Yarl's place? That's not who I'm looking for. Oh no, that's the Yarl. Four, but wow, the uh, invisibility power is up. We should take advantage of it. Does this mean who? Wrong guy. Right now, I'm now I'm down to using potions. Who was it I was supposed to be? This is his office. Let's, for now, just double check who the hell I'm supposed to be. Right, I got that. Fishing white run. Gerda's gold ruby and glass circlet from Gerda in white run. Last time I saw her, she was around here. Okay, tell you what. Let's just keep checking the hole. Please tell me no one comes in here. Why do I have a horrible feeling someone's going to come in here? And why does turning off night eye give me any sense of being a little safer? I don't. Oh God. I almost chugged some invisibility then. Ooh. use that, it won't kill anyone. Silver bullion, too heavy. It won't kill anyone, but I could use it as a, well, a distraction as I did when taking frost. Seems to work. Got all of these. Okay, this is not good. He just came in and then stood there. <clears throat> and he's been there for ages. <sighs> okay, fair enough. Well, 
Si wants it. Let's hope this isn't just a bloody iron sword. And it's in the Jarl's bedroom. Should be a bit more, you know. Balgruff's great sword. Yes. All right. I'm gonna have to use the old invisibility. God knows what you're doing here. Okay. Visibility should last quite some time. It's almost as though they've got more guards all of a sudden. All right, you know what? I don't want to waste the invisibility. Let's just... Invisibility 48 seconds. I don't want to waste it. I say waste it. Mm. It would be a waste for that. My night vision is over. Fiana. Okay. I may want to take more night vision potions. Mammoth Tusk. Do I need one of those? I can't remember. I think I need one for some, some task, but... I'm looking for. But before I uh, do what I need to do here, okay, this leads to Dragon's Oh, I think I know where that leads. That leads... Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just... Ooh. Nice. This was the... Yes, better way in actually, a much better way in. So, we know how to get out. And anything here that we don't currently possess? No, all right. I want to check that display case before I uh, take what I came for. And then I'm going to take as few risks as possible because I do have somebody I need to keep. Maybe I should uh, take care of the noble. The noble sat in the dining room. 
they might see him keeling over. I'm going to be as discreet as possible, but, you know. Is there anything else? I've already checked that. Actually, I think I, I think I need that. Do I? No, I don't. Yes, I do. I need the helms as well. Look, clearly I don't. Yes, nice. Oh. oh, and what is that? Gold medallion. Don't mind if I. Was there anything? I th oh god, guy coming down. You know what? I think I uh, should do what I came to do. I think killing the guy should be the last thing I do because that might require a bit of invisibility. And okay, <sighs> I'm wondering. Yeah, paralysis. Sometimes that could be a good idea. But, okay. Good as gold. Right. Okay. Do not take any unnecessary risks at this point. Let's go and see if we can introduce ourselves to the noble. Actually, you know what? At this point, I think it's time to change outfits. Well, at least map. Where's... Did I not... Please tell me I brought it. Please tell me. I didn't bring it. Why didn't I bring it? Oh, no, I've... God, I only did it today and I've already forgotten. I gave Yol and Greymane the mask. Yes, I did. A guard. Oh, I tell you what, the, the strange thing is, I do in fact need quite a lot of things to make some displays. I know, seems crazy. I'm here to kill someone, but I'm picking up snouts and cuts of meat because. Yeah. Right. I think. Now I may need to go invisible if I want to do this. Really un... Ah. That is who I'm here to see. The, the problem is, is... Is he... Is he going to be visible to them? It's dark, but it's not that dark. Okay, I may need invisibility just to get away from this. I don't suppose you'd move somewhere a little less visible. I mean, actually, technically, he's not visible by one of them. It's the one over there that he's visible. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Well, you know, while I'm here, 